Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 2nd of October 2020 and the time is 9.34 British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week is the US dollar versus the dollar yen. Uh, if you take a, a look at the wider range over the last couple of years, uh, since January 2017, so the last two years and nine months or so, dollar yen has been in a clear downward trend. And if you take a look at the price action of the last few months, I know we saw a lot of volatility in February, March when the pandemic was kicking in. Um, but if you take a look at the price action since late March, we can see that dollar yen has been in a fairly clear and obvious downward trend, a nice series of lower lows and lower highs. We can see here um, that the market bounced off of the kind of 104 level. It pushed higher uh, in the last few weeks, but once again, it ran into resistance at this blue line here, the 50 day moving average, which comes into play at 105 spot 73. And if you take a look at this blue line here, on a few occasions in the last few months, it acted as both support and a few occasions as resistance uh, in the last number of months. And if a price metric has been important in the past, it makes it more likely it'll be important in the future, although there are no guarantees. But especially very recently, it's, it's tried unsuccessfully on a few occasions to get back above the metric, but it couldn't quite do it. Um, so while we, we, we hold below that metric, as likely at the wider downward trend is going to continue. If you press on lower from here, because we're currently at 105 spot 14, a break below the 105 level could take us back down towards uh, the lows um, of the kind of late late September in around in around, in around 104 spot 40. A move below that could take us back to the recent low uh, in 104 itself in that region. Um, if if you take a look at the price action back uh, in mid of March, there really isn't much in terms of either you know support or resistance or kind of consolidation zones once you go below immediately 104. So if you take out take out 104, that could could put us on track down towards 103 spot 08, and a move below that could take us down towards 102, 101 spot 19. So there really isn't that many kind of price levels in terms of potential areas for support once you have it if you if you do have a fairly decisive break below the 104 area. Um, I do want to point out, though, that the lows here in late September wasn't that much lower uh, than the lows achieved in late July. So it seems to be that, that this zone here, 104 up towards 104 spot 18, could be a significant area of uh, of support should we move to the downside. Uh, so if you head back up towards there, we could see some fresh buyers enter the fold. Um, but but you can't ignore the downward trend. You can't really ignore the series of lower highs in the last few weeks. But if you do break uh, above, if you do have a decent break above the 50-day moving average, that could be fairly significant, given that it's tried unsuccessfully uh, to make a meaningful move above it in the last few months. So if you do head above it, we could head up towards this, this yellow line here, which is the 100-day moving average. That comes into play in at 106, spot 59. On a few occasions, that, that area has acted as resistance, so it could be of, of significance. Um, and if we head, head above the uh, the 100 moving average, it could take us up to the 107 area. If we can see here, that region acted as resistance in the middle of August, and there's a bit of consolidation in the, in the, around that area, um, broadly speaking, in the zone as well um, in July too. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, if you are going to be trading the, the dollar yen or any of the dollar crosses, keep an eye on the dollar index. This here is the dollar index, uh, December contract. In the last few weeks, it's been pressing higher. In fact, this day last week, it hit a two month high. So the dollar has been rebounding uh, in early September. It hit a, it, it, its lowest level in over two months. Last Friday, it hit its highest level. Sorry, last in early September, it is lowest level in over two years. Last Friday, it is it rebounded and it hit its highest level in over two months. So we're kind of at a turning point. Could we look to continue this this wider upward trend in the dollar? And if you take out the highs of of last Friday, that could be significant um, for the for the dollar yen. Or are we going to turn over on ourselves and have another move to the downside? And if that is the case, then we we, we could see a continuation in the wider negative trend for dollar yen. Uh, if you are going to be trading the dollar yen, or even to be honest, any uh, of, the, um, of the of the financial markets today, keep in mind that at 13:30 British Summer Time, we have the announcement, the big announcement from the U.S. Uh, Non-farm payrolls is the uh, is is the update. 
In fact, we're actually, my colleague Michael Houston is actually ho hosting a live webinar event uh, at 13, 15 British summer time covering, covering the payrolls. Uh, so if you have time and you're available, please tune into that. And if you don't, no worries, because the recording is also going to be on the YouTube channel. Um, thank you for listening to this video. Have a good training week and good luck.